It's pretty cold outside in Dallas right now, but I've got a hot device in my hands. So like that transition? I thought so. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com. This is day 14 of my 30-day challenge with the HTC One. It's a hot Android phone, but it's coming right on the heels of the Galaxy S4, the Optimus G Pro, and a ton of other high-end devices that are either coming or rumored to come in 2013. Is it the best? This is part of the 30-day challenge series. It's day 14. Let's go find out what I found out about this device in 14 days. Day 14 with the HTC One, and I'm really still enjoying this phone a whole lot. That said, it's the unlocked international version, so there are some things I miss about having a carrier-branded U.S. device. I'll always err on the side, at least for my personal device, of carrying the U.S.-branded one, and the reason why, or at least one of the big reasons right now, is that most of those have LTE capabilities. I've been running HSPA Plus on AT&T for a while now, and you can see right down through here, it's running, actually, well, obviously, this is running Android 4.1, so you can't see it, but HSPA Plus connectivity right up there. Now, it peaks out at 21 megabits per second, and AT&T speeds are pretty decent throughout the Dallas Metroplex. So even at HSPA Plus, I'm getting between, like, 2 to 6 megabits per second. So it's not slow by any means, but you compare that to some of the LTE speeds I've been seeing, you know, 20, 30, even as high as 40 megabits per second, and I'm immediately seeing a slowdown. So it's really hard to go from LTE, particularly in a really established market like Dallas, all the way down to HSPA Plus, even though, comparatively speaking, for some markets, HSPA Plus is either all you have or it's on par in some cases with the LTE speed. So here's HTC's image gallery, and I want to focus on this in this kind of part one of a two part 30 day challenge review. We'll cover this in the second one as well, but I'm showing you the events section here, and we'll back out so you can take a look at my photos. And what it does, it aggregates all the photos together. So you've got my photos, my friends. So it's a combination of Facebook pictures, a combination of camera shots, combination of photos, and more. What it does up here, when I go to my photos, you'll see it organizes all these by date. So I have some from Mineola from the 24th. I have some from the 21st. And it's just a bunch of different picture shots that I took throughout the day. So for example, we'll click on the 21st, and you're going to see this up here at the top that's moving around, and then you're going to see some stills and some videos as well. So obviously when I come down through here, you'll see that, for example, that BlackBerry Z10 one down here moves. Actually, I thought that one moved. Maybe it was this one that moved. No, it does move too. But they move kind of one at a time. And so those, there's that one as well. And you can see that those are Zoe shots. Now what Zoe shots are, are three second kind of bursts of video. And it does a combination of video and still as well. So I can take a Zoe now, for example, just by going in to the camera. I can click right here on Zoe where it pops up. And I can take a Zoe and move back and forth and you'll see the camera lighting up red. So that's a three second video. So when I go to this, So ideally what you want to do to really get a nice HTC or a Zoe share is to take a combination of Zoe's, a combination of still pictures throughout the day, and that's what HTC kind of expects you to do. You're going to take a combination throughout, let's say, that weekend or that wedding, and I can come back down here, for example, and see what my finished picture or my finished product looks like. Now there are a couple of different options here. You see Polaris right here, but I've actually got six different choices I can choose from. Burbia is another one. And what it does is it brings together my Zoe's, my stills, and creates this kind of custom video. You don't have to do anything. This is all done on the phone side. So there's no editing required, nothing of that nature. And better yet, you can come in here and say, you know what, select content. Maybe I don't want the menu from Torchy's Tacos to be included. So I can either come in here and say select all, and I could say, you know what, that Torchy's Taco one, yeah, let's not include that one. And so I'll go to Next. And so now, when I hit Avalon, you won't see that pop up in the HTC Zoe. So you can kind of pick and choose. And then from there, you can send that Zoe on to friends, to family, to whoever, share it upload it, do whatever you want to do with it. So it's a really nice feature. I really enjoy it. And it's what I, what I particularly like about it is it doesn't require any additional effort on my end outside of taking some stills, taking some Zoe's, and then bringing them all together at the end. So you know, you have a day like a busy weekend or something where you take 100, 200, 300 pictures, maybe a wedding, you're really going to have a nice Zoe that you can customize and send along to your friends. Really a cool feature there. I like that a lot. And just talking really quickly about some of the camera editing options. And again, keep in mind, we'll cover this again in kind of part two. When I do the next challenge update, we'll cover the camera again. So I really want to focus. Obviously, this is a highlight for HTC with their one device. I want to continue to do a lot of focus on this throughout the 30 day challenge. So, night, HDR, sweet panorama, you got your scenes, your self timers, your crop modes white balance, ISO, all that different stuff right here, quick and easy to access. So really enjoying the camera. I do miss LTE a lot. If I do carry this device at the end of the 30-day challenge, I'll definitely want an LTE variant of this device on AT&T. Really, really miss my 
4G LTE. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. As always, hit me up on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Let me know what you want to see in this 30-day challenge. We've still got plenty of videos, plenty of time to show stuff off. So if your thing is not in this video, don't worry. Still plenty of time to get that in. PhoneDog underscore Aaron on Twitter. Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hi Aaron Baker. Google plus, Google plus dot to slash PhoneDog. I like how I was like, Google plus. I'm just kidding. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage of the HTC One and all that good stuff as we continue through. I guess my Best Buy credit card payments do as well. So I will uh, sign off and go pay that. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.